interesting intro to this video, but we're back working on the square body. The first thing we're going to do in this video is take the dash pad off and start cleaning under the dash. That's right, this is a cleaning video. Now to take the dash pad off a square body, first step is to take all this thread off. Remember, any good square body is going to have at least 15 different types of hardware in the dash pad because that's just how they are. Actually, the thing I'm taking off at this exact moment isn't the dash pad. It's the dash itself, because that's going to come off before the dash pad does. So, remember, this is a square body, so you just take these and drop them on the floor. You'll find them later, right? Remember to nudge the shifter of your truck that's on jack stands while you are sitting in it. Uh, is this ready to come, or...? Is that one actually holding it? Hopefully not. It is. You also have to take your radio knobs off, so don't forget to do that. It's good that this one was the tightest since it was the one that was being covered by the shifter. You know, you wouldn't want to <laughs> have an easy time taking that one out. Are you ready to see Vivo a mouse nest? Because I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have the angle I do, but that's just beautiful. Get it over the light switch, and there we go. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That's only the mousiest of mouse nests. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the rest of the dash pad hardware and pull the dash pad right out of here. Remember, if you want to replicate that old GM smell in any of your newer vehicles, just... Dump a little rat crap in there and burnt oil. Then it'll smell just like it. Ooh, that speaker looks healthy. I call this thing the mouse pad because it's covered in mouse crap. When we left off, my camera died, but I was working on the gauge cluster. So, I got that all cleaned up, put back on. Now I'm going to continue cleaning the interior out. And uh, we'll just probably do a time lapse of that, honestly. That's quality. Well, it definitely wants to come out. You can tell that because of the hideous noise it makes. Under the seat, there was just your standard square body accessory list, like used shotgun shells, a couple of pens, some 
parts of the track. That's all. Okay, so I'm gonna use this can of stuff that my brother found over there. This is gonna be the end of the video for today. We'll come back to this sometime soon. The seat was pretty frigged. The springs were all at the bottom of it. But, you know, this car smells like pretty bad, so. Back to Classics next time, and we'll open that up.